Multimedia Fusion 2 was the best game creation tool I ever used. I was planning on doing a video showing all the old games I made and talking about how this program simplifies programming and makes it very visual so that a dunderhead like me can understand it. But unfortunately, all my old games are completely lost to time. They're not on any of the old PC hard drives around the house, so I have to assume they're dead forever. And I took that idea and then did it for Little Big Planet and showed all those levels, so that's why I did that. Which is a shame because some of those old games are so love put into them, so much time and effort and I really tried and it looks actually good. I made a, a ripoff of Tomb Raider and a top-down thing and I made Metroid. You know, I, I made so many things I, I tried and there's none of them's favor. It's really sad, but I thought of an even better idea when I learned that Click Team Fusion, which is basically the same program, was on Steam. And I decided right then and there to create a game in a day and record it. So here we are. Enjoy me making an entire game that you can have. Right at the end, there'll be a link. Also in the description, just, just watch the video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Click Team Fusion 2.5. Um, today, I'm going to make uh, a game. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through my my thought process as I do it, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna give myself like five six hours to come up with something that you can play and either win or get a high score in. Or... Yeah, so here I go. It's already one o'clock. I haven't got that much time. It's a bit of a slow start to the day, but let's let's figure this out. All right, first off, I need to think uh, what the game is gonna be. So. What would be fun to do? I guess f first, let's get a let's get a little thing here. Uh, it's on a grid. I'll I'll turn the grid off for now. Um, movements. So let's 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 brainstorm some things that could be done. I need to have a way to fail and a way to not fail. It needs to be something not too boring like I, I can I considered like making a game about hippo because you know hippos my boy so yeah maybe I could do something about that so hippo is a little guy and he has his propeller hat um, what could that be like I'm not gonna make a like a 10 level three or four bosses um, video game like adventure that would be saved for like later this is like get down to business, make something real quick. So let's say a single frame sort of game. Everything is in one frame, different levels, varying levels of difficulty. We got Hippo. We got a little guy with a propeller hat. We um, Propellers, they make you go up, they make you go down. It's like a helicopter. So Hippo is, is flying around in this little screen. And what is he doing? Um, he's dodging... He's dodging um, uh, creepy uh, skeleton hands. He's d he's dodging the the skeletons. They they try to they try to grab Hippo, take him down into the abyss. It's it's quite it's quite tragic. It's quite sad. Uh, he's really upset about it. Um, he's really he's really just gotta you know avoid death at all costs. So uh, let's start by by ba by um, thinking of what the. I think what the the idea would be is the Hippo. Y you go up by pressing up. Or W, and if you leave him, he'll just slowly sink down, and you have to, you know, fly around to dodge things. And you're going up, you're going up through like a cave, and there are skeletons at the walls, and there's like a demon coming, coming to get him, and uh, he's got to fly up. He's got to try and escape. Okay, so that's that's the end goal to get to the top, and the enemies are skeletons, and they're coming from the sides. All right, I got an idea. This is the idea. So first, I need to make a little hippo. Now this screen size is a bit small, so let's um, let's say, oh I don't know, nine hundred. That's quite, uh, just imagine, because this is the, literally the size of the screen it will be, so maybe a bit bigger than that, or maybe it's smaller. Actually, no, no, <laughs> no, it's way, it's way easier to. This the the normal size is fine. Let's delete that. All right, 640 by 480. It's small, but it's 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 small and it's it's small. That's what it is. So let's get a little hippo. Let's size him up. Needs to be about needs to be about this big. 
Yeah, it's big enough. Actually, maybe it's... All right. Let's draw hippo. Let's draw hippo looking to the right. Oh, my, my pen tablet's not... So he, he's a little hippo. He's got a, he's got a snout, and he's got a head, and he's got a little fat body, little legs. You know, little legs. He's um, he's a little guy. That uh, looks stupid, but um, too bad, too bad, hippo. You look stupid. The drawing thing in, in, in clip in multimedia fusion is not great, but it'll do the job. Right, so we got frame one. That's one frame of animation. Um, so I'm gonna goddamn pen tablet. All right, so I'm gonna fucking new frame, clone frame, second frame, animation. We're 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 doing it. There he is, there's his little propeller going. So he's, that's him slowly falling. So, um, need to create r opposite direction. So that's him now going, oh, wait. Yep, so this is entirely opposite. All right, uh, how do I flip them all? Can I just do that? No. Can I not do, oh, all right. One at a time. Now, the center point, I think that's fine to keep it like that. It's basically fine. So he doesn't need up and down movement since he's going to be staying horizontal. Uh, walking and running. I just copy that whole thing. Paste it there. Copy this whole thing. Paste it there. And then change the speed to be from 20 to 60. So when he's accelerating, the highest animation speed will be 60 frames or whatever, whatever they judge it by. Okay, so okay. Now the changings are saved. So there's Hippo. Need to give him a movement. Is there like gravity? Platform, I think, has gravity in it. Let's just try movement. Oh, and there, there he goes. Okay, so gravity is like 10. Or five. Strength strength of gravity is like ten. So he still falls quite quick. Let's try one. Yeah, that works. Um control. Button one. Oh, how do I change what button one is? I think I go in here. Settings. Uh, default controls, okay. So, control of each player keyboard, right. Up. Alright, button one. Let's say that's a spacebar, so he has to press spacebar to keep going up. Up arrow, down, left, right. Um, Left is A, right is D. There's no up and down, but let's just do that in case. WASD, spacebar, button 3, shift. Alright, button 1 is spacebar, so he has to press spacebar to stay up, but we gotta, we gotta make that happen. So the moment, he just slowly falls. Um, oh wait, let's see, let's get left and right. So yeah, left and right. Maybe a bit quick. There's left and right movement. Uh, speed, acceleration. Let's try 20 acceleration. Speed is 20 as well. Now it's a bit too slow. A bit too annoying. Um, acceleration. Let's keep acceleration at 50. Now speed needs to be at least 34. Something like that. Like, we want him to get to one side of the screen to the other without feeling like it's a pain in the ass. Let's try 40. 
Nah, it's a bit too fast. Alright, 35 will do. Acceleration, let's also have 35. Just so it's like a little bit of like, uh Deceleration, 100. Oh, try movement. What happened? Try movement. Yeah, high deceleration, so turning around is like a bitch. Because uh, it would be. Um, 85. So you can't just keep your momentum going from left to right. Okay, so now we need to give button 1 a thing. Oh yes, let's save the thing first. Not even start games, okay. I already made a hippo game, but this is a new hippo game. Because I'm trying to do it in one day from scratch. So, um, hippo tries not to die. There's the, there's the thing. Hippo's box is a bit big. Let's uh, let's crush that box down to exactly the frames, exactly the size, just so it's convenient. It's like hitbox detection is not at all a problem. Okay, so now now there he is, and we need to go in here. So we're. The, the keyboard, upon pressing a key, spacebar, um, we need to give Hippo upwards movement. Hmm. You know, I don't know how to do something like this. Yeah, I don't, I have no idea. How to make it so when you press a button you go up. Oh, you know. I, I, instead of doing that, let's delete that. Oh, not never. Um, Alright, upon keyboard. Repeat while a key is pressed. So while you're holding spacebar, Hippo's movement will be... Can I not set direction? Oh, shit. Oh, god, I don't know how to play, uh, make games. I've never been good with the number thing. So I can set the speed of him, but I can't set the direction, I don't think. Right, I think I need to make a, mul a different movement, so... Movement 0. Add one. And add a movement. Create new movement. Yeah, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done something so, so complicated. I, I know how to do other things, but not this. Um, movement extensions, no. Regular polygon, no, that's not what I need. In and out movement, pinball, maybe pinball. Uh, gravity, initial direction, there we go. There's only one. Gravity is the same. Uh, well, let's just try this out. Let's go here. Let's change his movement. Multiple movements. Select movement. Movement 1. Alright, so that kind of works for going up. It's like, Whoa. You just hold it and it's like, Whoa, I'm going up. And then he falls. Whoa. Whoa. So, keep a repeat while key is pressed, or rather, we need to negate that, so when it not, is not pressed, movement, multiple movements, select, movement zero, should work. Hmm. Uh, what's going on here? So, when the spacebar is not repeated, Plus, we repeat that movement. Oh, so it's repeating it in it ad finum to minimum. Okay, um, uh, edit. Wait, no. Replace that upon pressing a key when the spacebar is not being pressed. Okay, that's the same problem. I'm doing it, I'm going up high. Alright. 
Um, that's not the way to do it then. Oh boy, because it's so difficult. Movement. Uh. Well, you know what? Maybe I could just keep the pinball thing. No, no, I'd need to switch to a different thing to make it like... Oh, God. See, this is why I can't be a programmer. I'm already completely stumped. Alright, I can't check for what movement he's in. Fuck. See, the pinball thing, it just makes him go up a bit. Maybe pinball is the wrong thing for it to be. But it has gravity, so that's what I want. Um, movement zero. Platforming. Initial direction. Oh, boy. Is there a way for, to make him jump off of the air? Race car, no. Eight directions, no. Mouse control, no. Bouncing ball? Alright, let's change movement one to bouncing ball. It's the same sort of thing. Except it just goes forever. And there is no... Yeah, I can't do that. Uh, not platform. Um, pinball. How the hell do I make it so that when he's falling, he can... Oh, wait, I know. Right. Animation. Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Alright. Um, flags. Set on. Um, whoa, dude. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, flag... Oh, the number of the flag. So flag, let's just call it flag one. Set internal flag one on. Uh, flags, compare. Where's the pickle count? Oh no. Alterable values, flags. Is a flag on? Is flag one on? So when the flag is on, that means this is happening. Um, and... Uh, oh god. Wait, no, um, test the speed. We need to test the speed of him. So is this, is the speed equal, greater or equal to, um, 50? Let's go big. Speed of this is, is more than 50. Then change movement back. Select movement zero. Alright, it starts off fine, but then... Hmm, why is it not working now? Internal flag one goes on when you press the spacebar. Changes the movement. And then if the speed is also if if this is ah oh, I might have to abandon this fucking thing this is too complex I have no idea what I what could be going wrong here so really what happens I, I press the space bar turns the flag on immediately changes the movement back so that's not gonna work so something else has to be there as an extra. Equal to zero. Uh, well, now that works, but now I can't change back. So when the acceleration is equal to zero, that'll change back. So we need to just change this value until it works. So equal, different from zero? That won't work. 
Yeah, that won't work. Uh, it needs to be something like the acceleration. No, wait. It has to be the speed. So th if the speed is greater than 10. So what's going on here? The speed is not greater than 10. It's in fact less than 10. And so when it gets to 10 speed, it changes the movement. So we make it greater than 100. It has to be bigger than 100 for it to change back. Maybe pinball doesn't have speed in it. Oh no! I oh, know that works! Alright, so we just need to edit this a little bit, so let's say 70. Very, very shit looking. Oh, you know what? We could also add, this is important, we need to insert the direction. Uh, direction, compare direction. It's it has to be going down, so we can't be going up and have that speed. Uh, facing direction. Oh, is that that because he doesn't have like a downward direction animation? Alright, let's just copy these. For falling. When he's falling. If anybody knows how to, to use this software, they'd probably just be like, Oh my god. You're so shit, dude. But, you know. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are impressed that I'm even managing to do this. Games are not easy to make, alright. So, forget the direction thing, we need to check for an animation. Animation is... Which animation is playing? Falling is playing. Let's try that. Wait, why is the falling animation not working when I'm in pinball mode? Why does pinball not count as having a falling animation? That, that's just weird. And I don't like it. Do not like that at all. So this can't have, the pinball movement doesn't have animation, so we can't do that. Let's just try this. So now that yeah we need we need the direction is there a way to do the direction compare direction of active to be down i mean down or or whatever all right this works this works now the falling animation doesn't loop, that's what's going on there, so I can just change that. Or delete it, I don't really need falling animation. Um, unless that fucks it up somehow. So now the only thing is, when he, st when he flies up, it, the gravity is like, oh, I stop. So... So when this happens, his change, movement changes, but the movement itself starts off at like moving at start. Uh, speed, acceleration, deceleration, movement at start. 
Maybe if this was 25. Then it'd be scary. Like, huh. Yes, that's not good. Um, 10. See, it's very fucking terrible. It's very fucking terrible movement. You go up, and you can't go left or right at all. Like, that is not a good game. I need to delete this whole thing, because that's just not fun. Um, maybe moving left and right is, is not good. And now he just does this for some reason. Like, what's he doing that for? And why does he not do it when I go like this? Doesn't look natural, doesn't look flowy, doesn't look good. This fucking thing sucks. Maybe I should try and change the entire game, because this is not... This is not gonna work. Oh boy. Why does when I'm going down, does it always go that direction? Like, it's almost okay, it's just... That seems weird. Because it goes straight up. Because it's not... There's, there's probably like a movement in here. Create new movement. Physics spaceship movement? Inf oh, fuck off. What? What is that? Picture of a physics object engine object in the frame. Fine. Uh, physics. Okay. I got a physics engine. Maybe this is what I've been think what I'm needing. Okay, so try this movement. Whoa! Instantly hilarious. Okay. So he's now a spaceship. Let's try that again. <laughs> Alright. I didn't realize quite how cool the physics engine things were. But um, thrusting doesn't go in the direction you'd think, so I need to change this. Change the animation. Thrust impulse. Thrust power. Thrust stir. Um, bouncing ball. Physics. The hot spot of an object with a physical movement must be positioned in the center of the mass of the object. Well, yeah, okay. that's I know that. Oh, so I'm going down, so I'm using, like, whoa. But that's not really, that's just, like, decelerating. Wee. Wee. Alright, th this game saved. I've never tried these things before, they're, they're brand new to Click Team 2.5 multimedia thing. Like, I didn't have them as a kid, so I didn't know what they were, and they scared me. But they're so much more powerful than the defaults. Oh my god, alright. Let's, we can do this. We can do this now. Um, I think spaceship movement will probably be the one. Yeah, that, that would imply that there's like a thruster behind his butt, and uh, okay, that's terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Alright, spaceship movement is probably the only thing that's going to work. It worked fine. It looks silly. I just need to... I just need to make a... Uh, something... 
some sort of a level. Like it thrusts in the wrong direction and it, the rotation is very annoying and you have to go turn around. Rotation speed, uh, so this is do 30. Initial impulse thrust power. Whee! Actually, maybe this is fine. No, it's not fine. I, I gotta try it the other way. Alright, let's rotate the whole thing. Well, now he's going sort of the backwards way, like, you'd think going up, but then going down doesn't... It's like, whoa, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense I was doing this. Whee! Yee. And he doesn't have like a, like the gravity, right, deceleration, he needs some, so, let's have 20, well that's not enough, um, 50, alright, I guess that's the different sort of deceleration, This is going to be funny, no matter what, because it's a little stupid hippo trying to use his propeller hat to not die. Oh god, the skeletons are trying to grab me, whoa! <laughs> okay, um, object, gravity scale, well, let's add a bit of gravity. Ah, oh, we have gravity, okay. So let's give it 30. Um... Yeah, now, now it feels a bit more like, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh shit! Get away! Hee <laughs> But you would never do that. Where's he gone? Friction density. Rotation speed. Let's just put deceleration at a hundred, just to see. It's like, it's like going up is just too much thrust. You can go way high. Let's make ten. Uh. That's not fun though. Yeah, but fuck that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We just play the game, and it's exactly this. Oh no! Oh no! Eee. You move this way to go this way, It'll, just like a helicopter, you know? And you don't turn a helicopter upside down. Easy fucking shit. So, we got the movement. Hooray! Took about an hour. But that's okay, this is, this is how it goes. This is how games are made. So, let's put um, a background in. Alright, virtual width, virtual height. Let's give it like 9,000 height. Wait, I, why, did, why did that not work? Come on, I wanna, I wanna, there we go. Why is that a oh, 480? So I do like 9,000. Right, so let's bring little hippo boy all the way down. Uh, I don't know why it starts from from there. Or maybe hippo's going down. He's he's adventuring. He's an adventurous hippo. He's trying to go down to get to the skeleton thing to to get the skeleton th thing, and then you got to go back. It's basically down well, but with hippo. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing now. All right. 
So now, let's get some shitty background made. Quick backdrop. Little, uh, little thing. Let's, um, show the grid. Show that grid. Grid's the right size, I think. Uh, close enough. I need to edit this. How do I edit it? Not solid color, a motif. Let's change what it looks like. Um, man, that looks so bad. But it looks, you know, it looks it uh, it looks uh, so bad is what it looks. So, we just, but that will repeat like that. I think I can change like the size of what's repeating. Integral dimensions? What does that mean? No idea what that means. Uh, let's let's make this a little more spruce. A little more spruce it up. Just that, just that little bit of grunge to give it a give it a character. Not too much grunge. Here we go. Oh, I see. So like, if I do that, if I do oh yeah, integral dimensions. It keeps it to the grid. That's great. So now I will just drag this all the way down. And I will have like an overlay on it that will make it get darker and darker. Wish there was a quick way to do this. Whoa, okay. It's not normal. Okay, that was a weird glitch. So now we need to make it so that um, always we need to make it so that the uh, oh we need to storyboard controls scrollings center window position relative to hippo. So now as we play, it's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I'm a hippo and I'm falling down. Oh no, it's me. Oh, oh fuck. Oh shit, I'm falling. Oh no. Let's go down faster. Whee. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. So now he has a, a way down. Um, should make a new layer. Put uh. Well, no, no, no. We need, we need a, How do we move the things from a layer to another one? Cut, and then paste on a layer. I don't know why I did that. Maybe it will be important. So let's make a new layer, and we'll make a gradient. No. Uh, save. All right. Insert. Yeah, backdrop. I think would be fine. So I need something about the size of the screen. Or maybe more. Maybe bigger. About that. About that big. So basically, this is gonna be a spooky gradient that we'll get. There will be. Um, how do I make a gradient? There must be a way to make a little gradient. Uh, I actually have no idea how to make a gradient. Uh, let's continue what we were doing. Um, what were we doing? Oh yeah, trying to figure out the the, the gradient. All right. What I think. What I think. You know what I think though. Do you know what I think? I think this should be not this. I think this should be should be a bit of this. But not this much. I think it should start at the bottom. Start at the top rather. And then immediately turn into blackness. Just so it's easier on the eyes as a thing to look at. And then you'll know. It's like, oh, you get into the top. When there's this. So uh insert 
I think quick backdrop is the one. Gradient, there we go. Vertical gradient. So from black to... Uh, don't know whether I can do alpha channel effect. Well, what the fuck? Blend. Semi-transparent. I really wish, I really wish I could have an alpha channel on one side of the gradient. That would be primo. Luminescence. Oh no. Oh man. What are their fucking chances? Oh, let's just make it a sunny day. Yeah. Something like that. Something like a sunny... It's like, ah. Oh, that's the outdoors. I'm free. Right, it's very stupid, this, this thing. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. I just need to make it continue uh, to be dark. So... I'll just get a black thing. Uh, oh, you know what? I got a better idea. We put this to front, and we give this the transparent thing. But why is it so weird in this sort of... Uh, none. We have nothing weird here. Zero. Why is that not... Why is that not the thing? Color two. Black as fuck. This one. Not enough. Why is that not even the right black? Like, ultimate black. Wait, that's not even ultimate black either. Where's ultimate black? Where's the ultimate blackness? Do they not have it? Like, even that has, like, 0008. That's not the same black. How the hell can that be the case? How is the hell is that allowed to exist? Or maybe that's it? I don't know. It's just fucking black. So it gets down to here. And you think, eh, this is just black, there's nothing to it. But there is something to it, because there's another gradient. I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy that. Copy that. New gradient. First one, black. Second one, blue. Or purple. We're going, we're going into the hell. You see. It's like, oh my god, what's going on? It's getting purple. Actually, yeah, I just drag it to the very bottom. It's purple down here, this purple shit. Oh, it copied that, and now that's the same. Fuck that shit, I hate that. Right. Do this again. No, I don't even like that. Let's just keep it simple. Um, let's also... Yeah, it's too yellow. It's too bright. Where's the actual? Okay.
Down into the depths you go, hey Paul. Diddly diddly dee. All right. There's some some minor fucking annoyances here. See, why is that like that? Why is the black from the gradient so much different from the black of, like, the, the background object? And why can't I make it more black? Like, it makes no sense that all these colors are just, there is no black, actually. There is no actual black color available. That's just really annoying. Like, why is it not that? Why is that not the blackest it can be? Maybe if I do, like, one. Okay. That's blacker. Because uh, there'd be no problem if I was using GIMP, you know? But because it's this, it's a big problem. I don't get it. Do not get it at all. Let's speed down. So it doesn't seem like very far. There's gonna be lots of spooky things in the way. All right, I feel like adding some some coins, some some cute little gems for for Hippo to get. So let's, uh, let's have like a little green gem. I wish there was a way. It's like uh, I can have copy, and I can paste it. Can I rotate it? Can I rotate that? Nope. No. Oh. I want to rotate this. Wait, can I? Yeah! And then... Copy, paste, flip it. Yeah! That's, that's how you make a, a sprite. I don't know what I'm doing. This is bad. Looks bad, but, um, well, you win some, you do not win some others. Wait, no. I know what to do. Do it on one side so it's, like, shiny on that side. Yeah! Alright, that's a rupee, you know. Unless... Copy-paste. Uh, fucking flip. Uh, oh, no, no, how do I rotate, I can't rotate it, but I can smallify it, what, what the fuck, alright, alright now, okay, there's a little gem, doesn't pop at all, alright, let's think about, think, think about that, actually no, what, once, wait, what the fuck did I do, okay, There's a little gem. Putting points always annoys me, but I like gems. Let's make another one. Fuck it. There's another gem. Man, these gems are good. Alright. Let's cut these. Put these on the gem layer. Lock this layer so I can't interfere with it. 
Oh no, wait, these should be on this layer. So we've got little ones, we've got big red ones. Um, so the little ones should be... They should be spinning. Let's let's do a little... Rotation, number of frames, let's do... Uh, five. Hmm, speed bigger than that. Oh no, it's not quite in the middle, so let's try that again. But there isn't a middle. Not really. Let's just do 10 frames. And, uh... Now we can do 50. It's like, whoa. GMs. GMs. Alright, how do I quickly copy? There we go. What? Why did that go into the first frame? These are supposed to be on frame the third. Okay, so I just need to have that. So let's see, this one... This one shouldn't be... rotating. But it should be going up and down a bit. So... Uh... So they're a little vibrating, so... So now the hippo's going down, so... Woo! Right, those, uh... Those are vibrating a bit too... Mm, too fast and not too... Not, not, not enough. Alright, so simple thing to do now. Just bring these bring these up so we don't need to fall down so far. So collisions with this. Destroy. Just just to see if that's the right thing to do. Yeah. It always destroys the one in question. It's like, whoa. Yee. Collision between this and this. Destroy that. Okay. Now, uh, they should have a counter. We'll put a counter on the thing. So, new object. Data. Counter. Little number. I can't be bothered to make it look nicer than that, so that'll do for now. Or maybe there's a way to change the visible the way it is. Initial value, maximum value, fixed number. Oh yeah. Um So add to counter we add 1 for a green. And we add 5 for a red. Oh, look at that. Uh, pew. Got two points, oh, three points, yay! Three gems. Boom. What's that? Is that a big one? Oh, shit. 
card control. Nine points. Pew, 14 points. Excellent. That's so fun. So now, we got score. We should probably put the score in a gooder place than that. Like up there. Beep, beep. Um, now we need an enemy. Now we need a way to lose. So let's insert a new active object. Let's be... Uh, let's just make it simple. Let's make a little skull. A little flaming or some, some sort of an enemy skull. And it'll be about this big. And he'll be scary. Uh, no. Right. So... <laughs> okay, sorry, I, I like skeletons a lot. So those teeth are a bit fucked, but, uh, you know, so are the skeleton race. They're a bit fucked up, those skeleton boys. And he's like, huh? What's going on? I'm a, I'm a skeleton. So, um, now let's see we can make a really cool so uh movement will be simple just well let's see physics no i don't i don't really want something that can f you know me like bunch up like i don't want a bunch of these skulls that have physics bouncing around and potentially you know, like being all in one place you know being in places that make it unfair so let's have just a simple old little path movement with nodes. Don't know whether there's a way to make sure this is a straight line. Um, loop the movement, let's try this. Well, I can't see it. I don't like that about trying, it has to be in the frame. All right. Oh wait, yeah, we don't loop the movement, we, um, we return, reverse it end and loop. Right, that's good. Um, so we can see that. Uh, actually, wait. There was special movements. Like sine wave. That's weird. On completion, reverse. Uh, speed, final x, final y. Uh, that's very strange. Simple ellipse. Oh yeah, that's that's cute. Ooh, spooky. All right. Um radius x, I think 100 and then 80. Ooh, oh, yeah. Now that's a spooky skeleton. So um spooky skull that is. Now the speed is a bit fast. Um angular velocity Let's do it a 90. Yeah, that's spooky, but not too dangerous yet. We can we can make devil. We can make scarier skulls than this. Oh, and you know what would be great? Oh shit! He's a scary skeleton. Whoa! He's gonna get me. Whoa! Whoa! Um. Foist off. I just want to change. Want to change that to be uh, to be not quite black. Just cause I like the softness of it. 
All right, now what I want to do is I want to have a special little flamey flame for the for the skeletons. Purple flame, because of course the bottom is purple, you know. So let's make a new active. Uh, that's a good size for a flame. I want a rotation and zoom. Okay. Go back. Oh no, that's just for that. Fuck off. Fuck off. It's really annoying. Okay. I guess I'll just draw a different frame. That's weird. Alright, let's just clone the frame and then... I've never liked drawing in this thing. It's always been a fucking hassle. Always been a fucking hassle, Huff. Alright, so, um, time, every, every tenth of a second, we want to create, create new objects, we want to create a little poof of smoke relative to this guy. And we need to make this animation. Um, we need to copy this and put it on disappearing so that when it disappears, it will be gone and we don't have to, you know, write a script to say, and then it was deleted. Now, that's obviously those things are happening way too quick, so change the speed to like 10. Maybe. And there, we ha there we have it. There we have a spooky skeleton with a trail. But, um, it's above the skeleton because it's being created every frame. And created things go on top by default, so we need to go in here. We need to say always, um, order, move behind specific object, skeleton. Oh, well that, that looks a bit jank. Um, move in front of this. Now that's still... That's still kind of annoying. Um, maybe you do both and then, then it doesn't look bad. No, it still looks bad. What the hell? What the hell's up with that? I usually... I don't know how to fix a, a bug of that kind. Hmm. Uh... Bring to back. Always bring to back. Doesn't... doesn't do anything. Okay. What, what do I have to do about that? Okay, I don't know how to fix a glitch, a visual thing like that, without making it, like, create it on a different layer. But how do I force that into the existence? Maybe if I just drag that over there. Also, I'm... I'm this guy, initial direction, up. Now let's create, create that relative to the skull.
I really don't think there's something, anything I can do about this. This is really, really pissing me off. Like, it creates it. Like, I've never had this problem before. I don't think I've ever had this problem where it, there's a whole frame or so where it, it can't, like, always move to layer 2. Yeah, layer 2. So it still, it still creates it on that layer. Oh my god, this is, this is the worst. Alright, I have an idea, and it is to just make a blank frame. Or however many blank frames you need. Right, a blank frame at the beginning is all you need. Hey, sheesh. Um, in fact, we might not even... Might not even do need it to move it to layer 2. Yeah, good. And now we need... Um, oh, now I can't fucking see the thing. Now I can't fucking edit this properly. Um... Right, so that's cool. We have that. We have um, this. I really wish I could move it, but I can't. Uh, that's awful. That's so bad. Oh, wait, I'm moving it by using the arrow keys. That's the stupidest thing ever. Not being able to select something because you can't literally click on it. God damn it. Right. So now we have a scary skeleton. Now, can that fire hurt me? That's the thing to think about. You know, I've got to think about the gravity. If I go up, it's, it takes so long time to come down, so... Gravity scale... 50. I think that's good. Bing. So now we need to make damage. Uh, so we need Hippo to have hit points. So let's insert a new counter and have it be represented visually by a vertical bar solid color let's just do green so the minimum value is zero Initial value is 10. Maximum value is 10. That's too many hit points. Let's say 3. 3 hit points and you're dead. Just like Crash Bandicoot, except not at all. Or maybe if you have the Aku Aku, then yes. More like Spyro, though. More like Spyro. And vertical bar, horizontal bar. From the right. Anyway, let's just play. Oh, I know. Um, collision between this and this. Uh, animation. Flash object. For three seconds. No, two seconds. Let's insert, uh, 
Oh, you can't check for it being fla flashing? You can't check for the, the ma whether it's flashing or not? Ah, okay, um... Let's turn a flag on then. Uh, flag, set on... Uh, let's stay with zero. So, flag zero is on. Well, if I can't check whether it's no longer flashing... Oh, what up, whatever. Um, subtract from counter 1. Uh, only one action when an event loops. Where am I? I just go invisible. Right, flash, that's that's not Boom. Right, I think I start like like hitting it, so Boom, boom. See, I need a bit of invulnerability time, you know? Ooh, that's not good. That's too much. Alright. Um, right. Yes. Destroy object of too far from frame. Uh, do not follow the frame. That. Okay, I don't know how to what to do about that. Maybe if I don't inactivate it, so it's still going, which means it's still destroying. Yeah, okay, that works. Spooky boy. Boom. Right, I need to make a thing, so... And, uh... The position... Wait, no, no, no. Position, test position. Is he going to the edges? Uh, how do I bounce him? I can't bounce. Stop force? Is that what it does? Nope. How do I um stop? Movement stop. Oh, so the physics. Okay, so that's like boing. Oh no. Oh no, I'm a hippo. Oh boing. Oh dear. Ouch. So you can hit the side. Um. I just stop him like, ugh. Boom. All right, so that works decently well. Ouch! He gets hit. Oh, you know what? We should we should increase that to all the sides. You just like, boom. Now this. And this, I think, 
should be on a layer above. So this is the active layer. This one... This one I don't know what is on it, so... That's... that's background... Things... Overlay. Hmm... I made another one, why is it not there? I made a whole other one. What's going on? Why is there only one? Why is there only one? What possible reason could there be for only one of them being there? Oh, are they in the exact same position? Yeah. Oh, but wait, if I put that down there... Oh no, he, he stays there. Okay. Um, do I have to... Well, how do I give a different skull a different thing? This one's got that movement, this one's got that movement. If I change this to be a hundred... Then do it. No, both of them change. Both of them have changed. Fuck. That's a bullshit piece of cra uh, crap movement. I don't like that at all. Uh, help. Apply movements. Simple ellipse, alright. This automatic move. Okay, this is not helpful. This is just telling me what I already know, how it works. So I guess I just have to give them a different movement. Because fuck simple ellipse if it. circular. That can't be how it works. It just can't be. If you're using circular movement, you need to also use the Click Team Movement Controller extension. All right, fuck this. Fuck this so hard. <sighs> okay, so I can't duplicate them. I have to clone them. Clone object. Is that what it does? It looks like they're all the same still. But I, if I move the center x 100 to that guy. All right, suddenly it's it's fine. Oh boy, this is fucking pissing me off. Okay, so I can make them all different, um, but they're all, like, I have to manually type in where they are instead of dragging them and putting them in a place, which makes so much sense. God, this fucking thing. And now I'm really hungry and I need food, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay, I'm back. So really what I've got to do is I've just got to think of where I'm going to put all these skulls. So right now... And I've also got to make it so that each skull creates a thing, and not just that one. Mm. Sometimes it's just this tedious, but... Uh, that's fine, I guess. I'll just keep doing it. So all of them have them.
Now that's not right. Always. Um. Alright, let's. Alright, good. Good shit. And now, what I should do is uh, give it this qu uh, qualifier to enemies. Or bad. Yeah, bad will do. That's bad. So instead of every time you hit this, it's every time you touch something that is bad. So this one, add the bad, add the bad for that, they're all bad. Now let's make sure he can die. So, uh, when this, compare the counter to a value equal to zero. Um, we need to make a thing happen. We need to... We need to kill that guy. Kill the character. And then start a... We need to play a sound. Like a... Uh-oh, you fucked up. So let's... Let's play a sample. <laughs> Poor hippo. <laughs> so we need to come up with a little, like, try again thing. Hmm, I, I don't know what... Alright, let me just try that. Uh, oh, I'm a hippo, I'm a flying around... Okay, so it instantly just deletes it. Um, let's see... Oh, you know what? It's probably an object, isn't it? It's a new object. Uh, control. Multiple touch. Interface. A button. Pop-up menu. Maybe that's it. Right, I don't know what how that works. Can't see the pop-up menu. Uh, create menu. Okay. It's like, all right, let's die. Oh no! Oh dear! to instantly do that forever. Um, okay, let's try that again. Boom. Boom. Oh, just, let's go down. Shit. I gotta die. Show at relative to the hippo. Let's just see what that looks like. Especially if we die up here. Let's see if we if it looks okay. Like right, the pop-up menu is probably not. Actually, um. <laughs> Don't follow the frame. So this is these things. It's a button. 
insert another button. These are the buttons. Change the size of them. Make them big. I don't know what that means, re-die. That would imply that you you die again in, in that in exactly the same way. Run, run away, run away. There we go. So those do they not don't follow the frame. Uh, create at start no. Enable. Um. All right, let's. Yes, create them at the start. So, button clicked, restart the current frame, the other one clicked, and the application. And there we go. There's those. Um, need to make at the beginning of the frame. Start a frame. Um, disable them. I think that doesn't make them, in yeah, it doesn't make them invisible. Alright, so let's make them invisible too. Visibility, make object invisible. Okay. Oh, for one frame, there they exist. At one for one fucking frame. Oh no, no. Alright. Right now, let's go down. Let's go down to get... Oh, oh. It's hard to, it's hard to get hit by these guys. Run away, and that closes it. Beautiful! So there's a way to lose. Um, it's got a little sound effect, little buttons. Got it. Also, Hippo should have a death animation. Let's see what that looks like. Gems! Oh, you know what? Let's get some sound effects going. <laughs> I do like that when he spins. So I'll, I'll make some different skulls. Let's, let's, um, clone a few more. Nine, eight, seven. So have them like just put here. These are the the skulls we have. So where is this one? Uh, that's right at the top. We don't want him there, so we want him five hundred. We want five hundred down. This guy also there. We need him seven hundred down. This guy two thousand. How about? Um, 4,000 down. Uh, th about this guy? 4,000, 2,000? Fucking 5,600 down. And then 7,000. So, you know. Hang on a minute, those guys don't have things. They do not have the things that I think that they should have. Why does the... Oh, because I just made those new ones. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. All right. Let's 
make a new condition. Every ten se every oh, every ten seconds. Create an object. Create this object relative to the bad. So let's um let's let's just see if that gets the ones at the bottom. Yes, this, it looks like there's doubling up over here. Doubling up, doubling up. That one. Yeah, all of them, all of them, perfect. Okay. Don't even need to do this. I'm figuring it out. Doom, boom, boom. I'm doing it. I forgot about how useful the groups were. Alright. So those are those ones. Now we've got to make some new types. So clone the object. Let's get another one. Is he bad? Is he still a bad boy? He is. Alright. But this guy's got different movement. He's got something else. Simple ellipse. So radius. Changing the radius. We got 10. We got 200. Like that's scary, and also very cool looking. So center, uh, let's do a hundred. Right, not that. Let's do uh, four hundred. That's pretty good. So we get that one thousand down, and a clone like five of those this one will be uh, be 300 so let's try that movement oh yes 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 uh, okay that's um, about 250 Yeah, so that's down at a thousand. Um, this be three thousand, be two fifty, and five thousand one hundred and twenty-four. I don't know. And this one, seven thousand. Let's try that. It's like, oh, it's fucking skeletons, man. Whoa! All right, those are, those are dangerous. And there's two of them in the right, same place. You gotta be real careful. You gotta be real careful. Oh shit! Oh, I died. Now it's like a game, dude. Ah. Fuck! All right, you can't have two of them. You can't have two of them. Why is there two of them? That's four. They're both at a thousand. That's why. Um, 2,430? It's like, oh, I'm just a hippo. Hee hee hee. Oh shit, there's a guy. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! This is tough. There's just a... Still... Oh! Now I've got it. Now that I have, like, a way to die... It's actually a game. Fuck, dude, this is like actually cool. Hippo vs. the skeletons. Hippo vs. the skeletons. I. Alright. That's a bit too low down. A bit too early for that. This one. 800. 1500. We'll, uh, we'll make this. 670. Just so it's a bit further away from that other one. Like, oh, oh shit. Get those gems, you gotta you gotta really go. It's like, oh fuck. Woo ah. Woo 
Ô oh boy. Oh shit, Morley. I mean, Rick. I'm getting there though, I'm getting to the, the end. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> He's a little hippo. <laughs> I got to the bottom. Woo. Ooh. Eee. Okay. I don't know why his front leg doesn't do anything, but that's fine. So, the thing about all this is that I have to put the gems in the places where the skulls are going to be. And I don't know where that is. Wait, I can tell. So this one's going to center around 200670. XY 200670. Six seventy. Let's try that. And it should be exactly... Yeah! Oh, instead of visually doing it, I can just look... I, well, I can, I can do, make it like that. Alright, but I don't want that in there. I want these to be like... In nice places, like handy little places. So this one goes around. Alright, we'll just put this one up here as like a little, like, begin the game sort of thing. Now these, I think I will just put, like, oh yeah, gem. There's like, oh shit, there's a gem. You gotta go in the middle. Ah, but if you suck, you suck. So like, it's, it's a challenge to get all the gems. Fuck, didn't even get the gem. So that gem's there, that's gem's there. There's no gem there. Maybe it's this one I didn't do. Oh yeah, 250, 2430. Alright, just to check that they're all working. That one, that one, yep, yep. Ooh. Gotta find them all, I gotta see them all. Shit. Let's just zoom through. Alright, um, let's do debug mode. Let's do, um, for the moment. Never. Just for, just for now. That never happens. And also, Hippo does not have that much HP. Right, why can't I get the gems? What is wrong? I can get the green gems. What's, what's up with that? Oh, I see. All right. Yeah, that's an unfortunate. Uh, I didn't need to make them all different, did I? I didn't me need to make them all different at all. I just did. Okay, uh, let's change this. Only needs to be one of those. I'll have to type in the things all over again, but that's fine. And the last one, four, 400, 7,700. Just to make sure. Yeah, okay. So, I can't die. Let's see. Like, boom, got that one. And then, boom, got that one. Oh, wait, the counter didn't go up by five. Counter didn't go up by five again. Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck, actually? It should, should counter should be going up. One, six, okay, six. 
one. Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Oh, you know what? <laughs> That's what it is. It goes from there and then becomes a bigger number. So if I go get more, it will then show 30. There we go, yeah. It's just me being stupid. 23 points. Oh my god, 28 points. <laughs> it looks so fucking shit. Ah, uh, yeah, t t 33 points. Yeah. I'm getting so many points. Alright, so we got two types of mo enemies that hurt you. And they're pretty scary if you're not paying attention. Gotta go slow, gotta go steady. Like, how do you get through that? You gotta have momentum, you gotta be going... Whoa, you know. You gotta time it right, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy peasy. Oh shit. Oh shit, alright. By the way... By the way, I think... When it comes to collisions... Use fine detection. Alright, so that's fine. It means it's not like hitting the sides of the box, it is actually hitting the pixel of the skull. That's what causes the death. Right, I'll, I'll keep that as I can't die just for the moment. Because I want to do... Well, first I should add a bunch of these. So... He's like, bing, bing, bing. So I know there's one going around that, so... There should be some gems going the other way to entice you to go the other way. Right, let's see how that feels. Like, woo. Oh, a gem. Oh, bing. Oh, bing. Oh, cool. Gems. Gems. I like gems. Oh, shit. That's a dangerous gem. Dangerous gem. Don't want that gem. Oh. Leading me into peril. You know what I could try and do? Is with this. So what's the... What's this point here? Alright, so it's 32 pixels that way. So let's do a special little thing. When this counter greater or equal to 10, movement, position. Select position relative to this. You go x, 32. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all that shit. 8, 9, and then suddenly... <laughs> Alright, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's silly. Um, run this event once. And um, greater or equal to 100, it will then it'll be the same as this. Let's just see if the 10 works. Should go 32 pixels and only that much and only once. So boom, and it's 10. And to make sure this works, let's just put in a fuck ton of these. It's like, oh shit. So many gems. Alright, and then 100. Nope. I didn't do the obvious thing and run the event once. Only once. Oh, I'm so far. You know? Alright, so that works. I'm not going to have that many gems, so I don't think I'll need to do it for a thousand. Uh, let's get rid of those. Ah, no, 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 no. Only these. Only these I'm getting rid of. Shit. Man, you can get a lot if you're just falling. Boom. Now I want to make a, a tougher enemy. I don't want to go nuts with the gems just yet, really. I mean, I kind of am going nuts with them. But I want to make a, n a new enemy, a dangerous -er enemy. So let's... So uh, create active object from that. And 
and I want him to look... First of all, I want him to be big and scary. So, similar, but scary. Um, so there's a hundred, a hundred. It's a good size. And also they're nastier. <laughs> They've got little devil horns, Sans. Just little devil horns. You can't have little devil horns, Sans. You're not cool enough. You're not dangerous enough to have little devil horns. And in fact, the little devil horns will be orange, because I say so. The perfect crime. Oh, he's a dangerous lad. You know, he might even have... Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's a spooky man! And you know what? They're a little darker. They're a little... A little darker, these guys. <laughs> yeah! And what do they do? That's a, is a... is a good question. I don't... I don't know what they do. But they're bigger and scarier. Let's, let's just leave it at that for now. It's like, ah, oh, it's a scarier one. What are we gonna do, Sans? These guys will have a special movement. Don't know what. Regular polygon. That's a triangle. Number of sides. Oh, that's beautiful. We've got to have five sides because pentagram. But also, you know. Velocity, though. That's got to be like, we've got to go 90. We've got to go... And radius a hundred. We have like four hundred. <laughs> that's basically going in a circle, though. Yeah, that's really like just being in a circle. I may as well, I may as well choose the the circle one if it's a, if it comes to that. Oh, you know what? I think it'll be cooler if these guys spew at you. They shoot at you. They don't move. Alright, so now we need um, this guy. Since I only need one of them? No. I need, I need a new qualifier for this different bad guy. He is... No, he's bad. No, but then the thing will happen. Alright, he's enemies. Just because I need a different one. Because I need a different fire. I want this fire to be bigger. So... What am I trying to do? I'm trying to make it so that he constantly looks. Yeah, so always... Always, um... Position... Direction... Look in the direction of... Hippo. Let's see that. Ooh, terrifying. Oh my god, he's coming for me. Oh, he's coming for me. <laughs> but I need him to be like, he doesn't have any movement power at all. So his thing, acceleration, zero. Zero. Uh, 30. He's got zero directions. He can't do shit. I can't move him. Right. But. He can definitely look at Hippo. Hello, Hippo. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's looking at me. He's looking at me. He's gonna get me. Eee. Right, that's a spooky guy. We'll put him. We'll put the first one around here. Gotta do a new one. Shooting.
every two seconds. Uh, we need a we need a projectile. Yeah, so he just shoots that at you. So every two seconds, uh, enemies should launch an object. Th not that object. Th this object in the direction of. Hippo! Speed of object? No, not a hundred. Let's try thirty-five. Oh dear! Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Beep 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 beep. Do 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 do. Ah! Ah! You're shooting me! You shoot me. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. They have gravity. Why do they do that? I'm supposed to have gravity. Um. Yeah, it doesn't have gravity. It's, ba it's a bouncy ball. This direction, there ain't no initial direction. Okay, let's put that out there just so it's dead. Um. Yeah, I remember a shoot just went in the direction, like it just. That was it. There was no gravity built in. But now there is. Now there's just gravity built in. That's. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Do I have to do a hundred? I don't really want that to be the case. It's so like if I'm up here, I mean, you can hit me. I guess if he's on screen. And he's more and he's powerful enough to do that. And he's off screen so it's not being shot at me. But as soon as he's on screen. Should, as soon as he's there. Okay, he's still shooting at me. Still shooting at me. If I go all the way down. He's continually shooting at me. Alright, that's not good at all, so... These have to inactivate, yes. This is a very strange, different thing I'm not used to. Launching an object? Is there a way to not launch it? I'm gonna change that. Do we have to create an object? It still feels like it, yeah. There's still gravity involved. I don't like that. I hate that. I hate it so much. It was so simple before. It just went in the direction. It went in the direction of whatever. That is fucked. That's really fucked. That's like a terrible... There must be a way to not do that. There must be. There must be a different thing. All right. That isn't going to work, but what will work is creating an object, this thing, that decides to follow me. So... Always... Direction, look in direction of... Hippo. Okay, every bad guy, create one from that. And it will always look at Hippo. And I guess I just need to give it a movement that will... Maybe that just stays still. 
So let me just see. Collision with bad. So I guess this should be bad. Qualifiers. It's bad. Do not touch. Oh, and they also make the smoke. Now it's amazing. Now it's the coolest thing ever. Alright, I'm genius. I'm genius by accident. Now they make the smoke and they hurt me. I can't make the skull delete itself, but I can kill... No, that's not how it should work. Um, collisions with Hippo. Destroy. Nothing else is needed. So that hurt. Ouch. Oh shit, it's just like Rayman 1! Right, that's kind of really impossible to, to dodge. I gotta think of a way to that that doesn't happen. Um, I've gotta make it a bit more than that. It's got one deceleration, then it will very slowly decelerate. So let's give it five deceleration. Ten. When it stops moving, it when it stops moving, it dies. So, so that has to have less deceleration or more speed. I think. I think more speed. Yeah, it was fifty before. That's it's still kind of a, a lot. It's gonna hit that sweet spot. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Well, you know what? 50, and then increase the deceleration to 30. So that guy's like only dangerous if I'm over there. But if I am over there, then it, I'm fucked, bro. So they like have a radius almost. So. If I make that 60. Right, uh, maybe then. Maybe then I can do 25. Yeah, it's hard to say. I think it's safe right here. Which means it's not safe right there. So like that, you're fucked, dude. But that looks like a pretty good range. It's like it's scary, it's fast, but it slows down. So now, we just need to... Uh, change the animation for that guy. Rare. 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 Bleh. Bleh. And now, if I were to just drag another one all the way up here, it should work the same. Way cool. Right, um, can I flip this guy? Okay, the other guy flipped for well. Um... So if I make a clone... 
and make a clone for the other side. Oh, you know what? No, no, we don't do that. We do... We flip them horizontally. We copy them, or rather... We cut them. We paste them. Then we flip them. Because it's going to be rotating around. So hopefully... It'll work the same. Create the thing at the bad guy. Right, that's unfortunate, but uh, I think all I need to do is um, turn it upside down. Okay, and now I need to change it again. Well, at least it works. Yeah, I don't know about getting up and then getting down and then getting back out. Also, those are way too close to each other. That's terrifying. That's unfair. That's actually unfair. I gotta... Now I've got to test to see how difficult it is. Well, no. Before we before we make it uh, able to to die, we need to be able to win. So, start a new object. Some background. This is the big old you win plinth. That looks pretty good. Oh, it's the plinth and it's got the thing on it. It's got the big gem. We don't need that, it's a bit much. I mean, even this is a bit much. Oh, we'll leave that one in. Hippo falling down, hippo falling down, hippo falling down, hippo falling down really, really fast, 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 really, really fast. Oh my god! I got to the end of the thing. Hippo collect the jewel. Beep beep. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs>
your face in twice. Hallelujah. I got the fucking gem. Well, let's put some more gems in the first level. Now I need to uh, test the game. Hui. I need to test it for for completability. Gamer skill. Gamer skill. Gamer skill. Okay. Gamer skill. Gamer. Fuck. All right, but I can see. I can see doing that. It's like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a good challenge. I think if I played it a lot, lot more, I could get to the end. But for, for people, they have the time to do that. I don't. In fact, the new video is already up. The, the video for today is already up. Uh, and I need to render this into a video for today. So, that's the game. Um, no, I, I got, I got to try and win. If I can't win, how is, how, how do I know that you can? I'm the best gamer in the world. Go speed, fuck, speed run. I mean, this is clearly a speed run strat to get like to get to know where everything is. See, I would have done it. The, the, the ultimate OGs are the people who can like speed run through this. By doing the upside down hippo technique. I almost got there. Alright. It's 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 doable. It's definitely if I could fucking do that and get all the way to the end, it's ve it's very doable. And getting a high score, well that's just extra. That's just extra gamer cred. Alright. I made a whole game. I made a game that starts, you can win. Um but for now. I'm going to put this somehow online for you to have a download for. Um, and what I'm going to do, just, just just because it's like a product I've made, uh, I'm going to have it so that if you want to uh, donate like a, like a little bit of money, uh, then it will go to me, and that'll be great. Um, yes. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll put it on, I think... My brother knows a site where you put a game, and then uh, there's a donation button, and it's very simple. And of course, you don't need to donate anything uh, at all, but like uh, like a dollar, you know, ten cents, one cent, one cent, you know, it's still money. All right, uh, go to the description link, or maybe I'll have something on screen showing you how to do it, how to find it, where to find it. Uh, but I made a game, and that's the video. I don't know whether I will bother to have talked about m uh, Multimedia Fusion 2 and my history with it, but I've made a game about it, so that's fine by me. I'm a game developer now. I've made a literal game. I'm cool. Wait, wait. I'm not even done. I'm not even done. I've got to add sound effects and music. Alright. Start a frame. A uh, play and loop sample. What the fuck was that? And it crashed. Okay, well... <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I won't add music then, if that's what you're gonna do.